Hi everyone, Miss Castro here. Today we're gonna do a second project inspired by this concentric circles artwork from Wassily Kandinsky. As you can tell, these circles are not perfect, so we're not gonna worry about making our hearts perfect. Today I decided to print out a template from this site, audicraftykits.com. In that way, I could get started right away. I decided to print out my template over a white cardstock because I have already decided to continue using my watercolors. I like the finish that I have when I use my watercolors, especially since they're wet, they blend a little bit with the colors that I'm using before. You guys can use whatever type of paper you want and you don't necessarily have to use watercolor paper. Remember that Wassily Kandinsky was known for being a very good abstract artist. So that gives you a little wiggle room to make mistakes. On this project, I decided to just use primary and secondary colors. In other words, I decided to use the six colors of the rainbow, but of course, I don't like to be wasting a lot of paint by washing my brushes too many times, so I was trying to do two hearts and one background of the same color before I wash my paint. I was trying to create a good distribution and balance of bright colors, warm colors, and cool colors. But you guys can come up with whatever pattern you want. Once I have traced all my hearts and I have painted most of my backgrounds, I decided to start going inside the hearts and trace other hearts. And then of course I have to wash my brush to make sure that the colors were coming out right. Many times my colors came out too light or too watered down, so I have to let them dry up a little bit and then go and give a second layer or a second hand to it. If you're doing it with crayons, you don't have this problem. Continue coloring inside and outside the heart until everything is colored and nothing is left just white. Remember, this is supposed to be an abstract paint, but still, it has to look finished. Like this one, my finished product. If you have an old frame somewhere or a brand new one, you can frame it and gift it to your mother. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Don't forget to share pictures with me like always. I miss you greatly. Bye.